let's finish it. Like, I love your allegory to finance. Like, I find it really good. He read through most of the threads and simplified it. What is your mission on this? Like, what what caused you to say, hey, I'm going to go down this route. I'm going to teach people a very complicated subject, and I'm going to make it into simple terms. I think there is an incredible power in um, people feeling like they understand and can take control of their own life prospects from a wealth creation standpoint. Um, when I think about the things you learn in school and the things you're taught in school, <clears throat> I learned about uh, the isosceles triangles, the Ming dynasty, mitochondria. I learned to play the recorder for some reason, uh, but I didn't learn anything about uh, budgeting. I didn't learn anything about taxes. I didn't learn anything about investing. Uh, and that is a travesty because when you think about what's impactful for your life, what do people want in life? They want to be able to take care of their family. They want to be able to take care of their kids, give their kids a better life than they had. It's like, it's fundamental it's, and it's universal. Um, and how do you do that? Well, it's through financial wellness in a lot of cases. You, you need to understand these things and understand that if I'm putting little bits of money away when I'm young, saving this, investing, whatever it might be, doing the right things, I'm going to be able to take care of my family. Like, it, it doesn't matter how much money I'm earning, by the way. I don't need to be earning, uh, you know, 250 grand a year in order to do it either. Like, there is a power in compounding and in just doing the right things early on, but we need to teach it. Uh, and right now, all of our systems, our schools don't teach it. And the people that are trying to uh, get the information across are using so much jargon, so many complex terms, that if you're not from a background in finance, your eyes blaze over. Uh, you know, both my parents are very well educated. Neither one of them comes from a finance background. And they are constantly getting pitched on things and having to ask me. Um, and just the fact that they have a kid that's in finance gives them an advantage around it because I can explain these things. But like... For two highly educated people to not understand the stuff that's coming across, like how is anyone supposed to, right? It's very, um, it, it's a very opaque industry. And so my whole mission with it is to demystify these concepts for people, cut through the noise, stop using jargon, uh, make it as simple as possible so that anyone can understand it um, and can learn from there. And it's, it's a base of knowledge that you can build upon over time.